Hey guys, it's Cal, and welcome back to my channel. If I sound a little off today, it is because I am sick, and my voice sounds funny. But we're doing this because today, we are doing a unboxing video! I got this gigantic box from Chewy, full of bird stuff, and fish stuff, and all kind of good stuff. So we're going to unbox this. Yeah, if I get it. <laughs> this is huge. So we got a knife. And let's unbox. Just going to yeah, cut it. Don't cut towards yourself like I was about to accidentally do. somehow. I'm going to make this work somehow. You'll see. <laughs> okay. I think we got it. So I got There. Hold on. Alright. First, we got a bunch of paper. Which we're going to toss on the floor. Alright. First thing we got here is a bag of the Rowdy Bush Crumbles because my parakeets, basically okay, I'm sorry, my budgies and my bork like the crumbles. My bork is so picky. He was on these originally and he is so picky about he loves these. He will go on food fasts. Uh, food he'll go on a hunger strike in order to get these so he likes the little tiny crunchy pieces instead of the full size pieces but he's dramatic but they're spoiled so here's the rowdy bush crumbles I got this little carrier because if you watched my other video I mentioned that when I took them all to get groomed, I was one carrier short, so I got this little carrier. It has the little plastic like stuff. It goes together kind of like that. But yeah, I got this little carrier. I got a bag of Nutriberries because all my birds, except for Rio, because Rio's a weirdo, love Nutriberries. So we got a bag of Nutriberries. I got another one of these little rope perches. I like putting rope perches in their cages because it gives them, you know, something different for their feet. So I got them another rope perch. Got this little fruit and veggie treats for budgies and small parakeets. But it has like little dried fruits and veggies in there that are more bite sized because I always like to include some fruits and veggies in their food mixes. So I got this for the budgies, I got some test strips for my beta tanks so I can test their pH and all that. So I got little test strips, I got some beta fix even though thankfully throwing the beta fix, neither of my betas currently are sick or need it. But I figured I would have it, it was on sale, so I figured I would have it in stock in case, you know, they do get sick. I don't have to rush out to the store to buy them. I already have it, so we got that. I got this little forage and play ladder for Vegas, because, or not ladder, I'm sorry, it's a swing. So he could swing on it, but it also has all this stuff he could chew on. I could hang like a little bell toy or something here. And I thought that this would be a really fun swing for him. It's big. And I thought he would like it. So we got him that. I got this other little forage and play ladder. That, if you can see it, I don't know if I can get it all in frame. 
but it has like these little things so you can like they can like push them in and out chew on them it has this little bell thing wait no that's a different toy yeah. but it's just a little forward and play ladder i can hang stuff off here there's little hooks you can hang toys and stuff so i thought i would get that for them and then just this little shredder toy which is really cute it's just a little shredder another little shredder toy that you can like fill with paper you can just kind of fill it with paper and they can chew on it some of these little shreddable cubes that you can fill with paper and treats and stuff and they will chew on them and all that so we got those I got another one of these toys, which it has like these little wood blocks and these little like disc type things they could chew on. Some little, look at the little binkies, aren't they so cute? But yeah, this little toy, we're almost done. I got two of these, apricot and cherry flavor and apricot and peach flavor, little chewy sticks for them because they're little treat sticks and there's two of them in a pack. I got those. I got this dial a treat beta thing. It comes with a little spoon and you can like it has different like treats for betas. Yeah so I got that. I got this super cute little floating log convenient feeding hole on top and it's like makes your beta happy I guess I don't know it floats I don't know which one's gonna get this one of them's gonna get this and then I got this little leaf hammock thing and one of them is gonna get this so we'll see I don't know who's gonna get which but I got each of them a little hammock thingy I don't know I got a small little magnetic cleaner to clean algae off the tanks and you clean it off the front it's just a little magnetic algae cleaner not really exciting and last but not least I got this ruffled feathers um, spray it's nature's bath in a bottle cleans and deodorizes for softer brighter plumage so we got that I actually got this because it claims that it also is supposed to be good for uh, it helps re reduce excess malting. It's supposed to help with plucking, I guess. They said it helps. And even though I don't really have a plucker, um, from when Tiki decided to pluck himself up, when he had to spend the night away from me, he has a bunch of pin feathers coming in. So it's supposed to help with malting and pin feathers as well. So I thought it would help with any itchiness and stuff that he is experiencing from you know, regrowing his feathers from when he plucked it. And I got my paper here. And that is it. The box is empty. <laughs> I just scared the birds. All right, well, that's my unboxing video. That's it for me today, guys. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, bye.